can't say I believe in love at first sight because I think you truly have to know someone before you can love them. But when I think back to the first time that we met, I think that may be as close as it gets. We talked all night until we closed the place down and I could not get over how well we hit it off. I left our first date knowing that no matter what happened, I just met someone special. I don't know how I convinced you to be here with me. <laughs> but I'm sure glad I did. You're the most incredible woman. Beautiful and kind, intelligent and strong. There's a quiet determination and perseverance that you carry with you. A confidence that others can feel. It shows in your passions, the babies you take care of, the families you help start, the friends you're always there for, and the family that you love. I think back to our last few years together, and I can't help but to think of some of the amazing experiences we've had with each other. You first told me you were falling in love with me at the top of a mountain at 1,300 feet. At 10,000 feet, we jumped out of an airplane together over the ocean, and I can still feel that adrenaline rush that was stuck with us for hours after. But from all the amazing times we've had, when I think back to the best moments, they're just me and you together, sharing our goals, our dreams, and our fears. I love just walking Hazel around the neighborhood, catching up about our manic Mondays, and enjoying the little things in life that can go unappreciated. I also think back to that little red ca uh, cabin in the country, or us power houring by ourselves on the beach in the rain, and I can't help but smile because it's just you and me together laughing, enjoying each other, and enjoying life. Being able to call you my wife means more to me than I'm able to express with words, but I'll without a doubt show you as we build our lives together. Teresa, I vow to be loyal, to protect the trust and confidence you place in me as your husband. I vow to prioritize our marriage and even the most demanding times when we are both stretched to our limits. There isn't anything in this world that I wouldn't be confident facing with you. We have everything to look forward to together. You forever have the rest of my days. I love you. And because we're both stubborn, I promise to keep making insignificant bets with you, even though I always win. <laughs> You're the first person I want to tell everything to. You're the best dog dad to Hazel. And as I continue to watch you with my nieces and nephews, I, my heart always gets a flutter because I know you'll be the best dad to our children one day. Daniel, my favorite part of the day is coming home to you, and I can't wait to come home to you every day for the rest of my life. By the Church of Christ in the state of Virginia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Dear friends and family, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Schindler.
you know, there's nothing about these two that are not, is not the perfect match. They've always just gelled, you know, as simple as that sounds. Daniel, thank you for being the man of her dreams. You have made all these words that I would have said come true. And I know that together, you two will have the most beautiful life. Now I'm sipping on champagne every day.